Hi and welcome to this Moody Valley Library's YA Book Chat. My name's Tam and welcome to St Maryfield Library. Today we are celebrating Ida Hobbit. As you can see I've got my flag here but this is not the only flag that we're talking about today. We've got the LGBTIQA flag but we've also got the intersex flag, the non-binary flag, the trans flag and the bisexual flag. Whichever flag you feel like you belong to, fly it proud. As you can see we have quite a little range of books here. All different types of books, short stories, novels for whichever gender you are, whichever gender you're attracted to, or not. I was going to talk to you about three of my favourite books from this collection, so I'll start with Everything Grows. This is a brand so the first book I'd like to talk to you about is called Everything Grows by Amy Herman. This is a brand new book, I actually ordered it for the library because I really wanted to read it, and it does not disappoint. It's set in 1993, so you'll kind of get a little bit of an insight into what life was like for your parents at that time. There's a lot about music, so if you're into music you'll really enjoy it. A lot of stuff about the grunge music scene and all the other music of the 90s. Our main character Eleanor meets quite a range of characters in this which are really eye-opening to her in how her life can be bigger than what she thinks it will be. And her parents are pretty cool and supportive as well. It's a great read and I think you'll really enjoy it. The second book I'd like to talk to you about unfortunately is out at the moment because I keep recommending it to people. It's called None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio and this is a really interesting read because it's actually based on a true story. Gregorio is actually a surgeon and she works with intersex patients and she once had to see a young girl and tell her you were born intersex. She never saw that girl again but the story stayed with her a long time and she wrote this book about what it must have been like for that young girl's whole life to change even though she hadn't changed. So it's got some confronting storylines in it what it would be like if everyone treated you differently when you're not actually any different to you were the day before. But it's a wonderful read and I really do recommend it. The last book I'd like to tell you about is actually from the adult collection but it's still really YA appropriate. Again, it's out, has a lot of requests on it but we do have e-copies of this. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston is gorgeous. It's about the son of the President of the United States who is a woman and the prince of the English royal family and they don't like each other. Or do they? They kind of have to fake a friendship and then that friendship becomes more than a friendship and it's a really funny story with some great side characters and you kind of wish that it was real. It would be nice if it was real. So those are, so those are the three books that I've spoken to you about today but as I said we have a great collection. We've also just completed a great big buy in our Overdrive app or Libby of YA books so there's lots there to choose from as well. Have a look. If in doubt ask a library staff member. We're really happy to help you with a recommendation and if the person you ask can't help they'll know someone who can because we all love to read and we all love these kind of stories. Happy Idaho Day!